wish we were all back at the bond shore. Everything's wrong now. Not everything? Shane's happy? Yeah, and that's about it. Everything else is... Well, like what? Like Brody. He's not... We didn't even really know each other back when. He was sweet. He offered to marry me when he found out I was pregnant. And then he got his orders to be shipped out, and I... Yeah, and you had Shane. And you raised him by yourself. For ten years, it's just been Shane and me. Now Brody comes barreling back into my life like some kind of Superman. Shane worships him, and, and I don't even know how I feel about him. I don't even know how much I like what I do know. I mean, but if Shane worships him, then that's all that matters, right? Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Are you just sticking it out with Brody for Shane's sake? Well, he's my son, Charlie. You and me, I mean, we, we would do anything for them. You and JJ were so close in high school. Now you're neighbors. Don't you get to spend time together? Uh, well, we've been pretty busy doing oh, other what? stuff. Oh, what? You got married. That's right. You're the one who bought the ring that Gigi pawned for Marcy. That's me. What? Gigi told me that Shane's father showed up at a wedding where she was a guest. Was it yours? Uh, yeah. So tell me, what was it like? Oh, this, this Navy SEAL come back from the dead mysteriously. Oh, I wish I could have seen the look on Gigi's face. It was something all right. Oh, I mean, she never dated anyone the whole time she was here. I always thought she was still stuck on Shane's father, but Mo thought there was someone else holding her back. Which one of us got it right? I don't know. Oh, sit down, honey. You know, I hope that girl doesn't spend one more second of her life hiding the way she really feels like Mo and I did. So anyway, the reason I came here was, was I was asking about... was this David Vickers, who actually helped us to see what our true feelings were. David Vickers? You know him? A little. He was the one who got us to see, take a good long look, you know, at what we'd been avoiding in our hearts. That was intense. Oh, it was. It was like something out of a movie. We finally had the chance to tell each other how we truly felt. Yeah, it's always good when that happens. Oh my goodness. I've been so busy getting caught up, I forgot to ask if you wanted something. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can try to find Bo. Oh, oh yeah, I really think he needs a friend. This the psychic told me something about seeing Bo in some kind of danger, something about him taking a ride. Oh, that's terrible. You mean like an accident? You don't know if Bo drove here himself, or if he came in a cab. Only oh, poor people take cabs in these parts. Sweetie. That guy who was in here earlier, you know, the one with the hangover? What about him? Any idea where he was headed when he left? The bar, more than likely. Do you remember anything else? Anything he might have said? I, I don't know if it would mean anything, but he was mumbling something about Pa. <sighs> Look, Gigi, I have no right to be given any As soon as Rex gets back, no. I'm going to tell him. Well, wait. Rex is gone. Where'd he go? Bo Buchanan went missing, and he went to look for him. I hope Bo's okay. Rex really needs him now. Hey. Bo got here about an hour ago or so. What a relief. Yeah, good thing too. There is a storm brewing. I wasn't sure Bo would show up at the ranch isn't in the family. Yeah, Buchanan's are welcome here anytime. Let Bo in here. bothered by an old storm, are you? Ah, never mind. Get you settled up. We're gonna get out of here. Oh, stop. Don't take that ride. 